So, not a bad view. Let's look at this for a park up. Eh? Uh -huh. Can't get any closer to the sea here. You could hear it all night as well, it was like... Heaven. Heaven. Mm. Beautiful. Nice and uh, Nice chill little spot here. Another van dude pulled up last night. Irish fella, local. It's great to uh, always get that local knowledge. We shall drink my Yorkshire tea. Good morning. We got to uh, over that way behind me, Ross Lair, last night. And if you look over, we just spin it round. Right over there, that's Hook Island. That's where we stayed last time we was in Ireland in October. But I just thought I'd show you this. Look at this. That is the most intricate shell design I think I've ever seen. I will leave him a donation dedicated to the memory of Kevin French who designed and crafted this artistic shell work 1921 to 2003. And it is. It's, uh, this old boy spent some time here. I don't want to film inside someone's front window of the cottage, so even the chimney at the top. Love it. It's absolutely amazing. It's uh I've already met one of the locals last night, he travels about in a van, and he said it is actually getting more difficult here in Ireland. Hook point. You can't go there anymore apparently where we went. But it's uh this place is amazing, the view. I don't know if you can see, I'll try and get to the edge here. The view is uh, outstanding. So uh, definitely an excellent place to wake up. But I'm looking forward now to moving around Ireland and looking at some farmsteads. Maybe to buy. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> the van's bigger than that bit of building. So this is property number one. Going up for auction. So this is it. There's a house there, a house there. It's here. And we're going in the gate. Lovely. Matt, have you seen lots of faces in the stone here? It's got faces. Faces in the wall. Yeah, there's a bull there. Oh yeah, there's a bull in that one. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. like a bit of an old building there it's derelict now shed over there it's very overgrown I think this was the main house that was thatched I'll put some pictures on from Google Earth because it looks stunning when it was thatched but it's obviously been very neglected 14 years ago that Google Earth was taken I love it, you can't smell, but it's all like, smells of rose bushes. And there's another little good looking building down there. It's got a door. Yeah, there's more buildings too here. Don't know what's in there. And then behind it, Bit of a lean to. He's obviously had some kind of birds nesting up there in there and then boxes. Wood store, I guess. All of this is ours at the back and there's a bigger bit around here. Well not ours, because we haven't actually <laughs> we don't own it, we haven't even bid on it. It's going up to for auction. Uh, How are you with flip flops? I know, it wasn't the best plan. Mm -hmm. oh. All of that Netto. is included. Oh, 
monkeys very overgrown in this house. This was a house. <laughs> Sam's gonna hate me because I don't think he likes it. But I love it. Well, I don't know if he doesn't like it, but I just like it. Just look. Just look at that view over there. I don't know if you can see the mountains properly. Quirky things like bull designs in the stonework. But his wing is not very developed. Yeah. He'll be on his way out soon. They don't look very long, do they? Mm -mm. Look at his it's wing. It's nice that you've got a butterfly on you though. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> what are your thoughts? doable. I love it. I've got a, a good lot. vibe. Have you not got a good vibe? But where would you put a static or something to live in? I don't know. I don't know. So this is property number two. Not much to see on this one because it's so overgrown. We get two acres with it. And there's the house. I'll show you. Yeah, I can, this one be a magical mystery tour. So, got these views, just fields around. There's a really nice woods that we drove through. I need to look at the drawings of where the boundaries are, really. Sam's so trying to break in. Fall through and you really hurt yourself. Oh God, yeah, a van. You never know what you're going to find. Really rotten in here. Oh, well, this is nice. <laughs> nice. I love this. Yeah, this is doable. This crest. Oh, I mean, you can then here's a little fireplace. Oh, that one, and this is a little yeah. one over here. Here's a fireplace that's got bird's yeah. nest. I think mine. Bit of stuck from down the chimney. Careful with the floorboard holes. Oh. There's another fire there, look. Yeah. There, watch your foot in there. Oh, God. There's holes on the floor. I don't think anyone can see. Yeah, I don't know, much. Hey. See how rotten it is? Yeah. You can't always get rid of it. Driveway. Well, maybe I don't we should hike it. Do you want to drive it? I don't know if I want to drive it. Maybe we should drone it. We should get the drone up. There's quite a twisty, bendy road further up. I don't know. Here we go again. Another road of death. But the local lady that we just met said, You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Just go on. It so looks we're going. a bit overgrown. No, it's not. It's fine. No. Just pray we don't meet any tractors or any anybody, in fact. So, yeah. Looking out for low branches. I don't think she realised we were uh, three metres tall. My God, there's a drop of doom into the woods next to us, you know. Oh, God. There's a passing place there. <gasps> there's one passing Heart place. Heart attacks every day. So, this. Do we get this at the house? The driveway. I don't think the horse comes with it. Views down there. I'm not sure how we get this gate. I think we'll have to climb over. I think there's I think there's a tractor I can hear. There's a river, a stream. Yeah, there's a river, a stream. I know. <laughs> Hello! Oh, 
another bog. Up to the house, it's a yeah. bog. Look at views behind you. I know. Got nice. Yeah, we've got like neighbours as well. This is going to be like a bit more community here. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. Don't let your welly come off. Try and stay, don't walk right through the mud, you know. You've got to try and dodge it. Right. How would you even sort this out? Oh my god, it literally went. Kudush. I'd yeah. be scuppered there. Eh? Walk slower, it's all splash up you. I'm going to start watching some videos. Right, oh. don't lose your welly. Why don't you just wait there, right? Let me try and find a path. What about in that way? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Is that? Right, let me go. I think that just looks as bad. Yeah, there you go. I did one step and I went down. <laughs> You thought you were going to go down or something. Look at my footstep! Look at it. Yeah. It's so deep! I thought I was going to lose my welly bomb. Daddy already in. Oh, caterpillar! What hours is? Hey, another caterpillar. Another one. Oh, this is a lot of work. I don't think it's one of the best ones we've seen yet. Oh really? There's one bedroom or bathroom. Too small. Too small. That'd be like your lounge, wouldn't it? This would be a kitchen, your dining area, and that'd be a bedroom. There's only three it. rooms. That's about all you're going to get. Oh my god. Ah. And the thing is, it's the same again. So that's where people were putting in like French drains, you know, down the bottom here. Curl it off around the house. I think that's probably what's happened because it's not as wet here but there. So I guess this is the top of the land at the back. Looking down to the house. It's all very lovely, but right now I just feel like every bloody house in Ireland is riddled with damp and we'll need drainage putting in. Oh, I just don't know if we've got it in us. Maybe we should be looking at France. I don't know. I'm very confused. So we've parked up there and all this. It's the land. Very good views actually. <laughs> Very much like being in Wales, I think. How does it get foggy? It looks moist. Mm. It looks very noise. Look at the trees. Yeah, you get some wind here. Yeah. Look, they'll rip the roots up and everything. Uh, that must be gale force that comes through here. Jeez. You've got plenty of firewood. <laughs> I know. Mean, <laughs> it's a new window in recently. like a log store. Someone's obviously stored some logs in there. It must have been a house of some description because it's got a fireplace, chimney, 
Teeny tiny little house. There's a toilet. Where's the toilet? Oh, toilet. There's a random toilet <laughs> out there. <laughs> There's a toilet. I do need a wee. Don't go and wee on the toilet. Let's check out the toilet. Yeah, I'll check if it's working. Quite right. Quite right. <laughs> How is this random? Oh my god, they've made they've started to make their own off-grid toilet. Why is it out in the ocean? Oh you Daddy know. Would love that, an ocean toilet. That's hilarious. Daddy would use that toilet on him. Oh yeah. Is it flush? No. Slightly. Can you hear some water in there? I don't oh, want to lift it up. I want to be a spider in there. Why? <laughs> and got, they've actually got wet wipes next to it. Might be a big spider in there. Yeah, jump out like you. No. Daddy is really going to find that interesting. Oh, lovely. Look at this. This is my kind of place, this. <laughs> You've got these water feeds coming from somewhere, somewhere up there. <laughs> the water feed for the house is coming from a, a hose pipe that's uh, 200 metres. And then this is the poop pot. I think it's good this is a biff bio harvester poop pot just like the one off the Ben Fogel where the, the vet people were New lives in the wild New lives in the wild this is a way to actually have a poo poo it's, This is genius Look at this craftsmanship here <laughs> I like it I won't be having a poo uh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, imagine waking up early in the morning where it's all cold enough to go out I mean, in the, the woods. One, the one plus about this land is there's plenty of room. Oh, God. That's, that's gross. Poo. That's stagnant. Someone else is pure from we in there. Yeah, but it doesn't smell, does it? No. Yeah. Oh, we've pulled in. Off the road. For property number, God knows what now. I've lost the will. Um, so we pulled in here because it's got a little bit of a lay-by. So there's one building hidden in the bushes there. And a second one next to it here. Which is joined almost to the main house. In here, I guess. So it comes with an acre, I think. Some of which is behind the house and some is in the field over the road. But that is a quiet road. Nobody's coming down there. There's a whole tree in this bit, yeah? Two trees. <laughs> Two trees. That shows how, how Make long the whole wall collapse at the back. Oh. So this section. These two oh, trees. God, someone's, dumped, someone's dumped a TV down there. Oh, nice. It's one bad thing people do. Someone's pulled up and thought, I'll just dump it here. Yeah. And do you know what's a shame? I really like these trees. Do you think it's, do you think it's doable to have a tree in your house? <laughs> oh, obviously not, no. But I'm joking. God. The gate posts falling over. This is the main house, front garden. Wow. Well, That's how TV's used to Jesus. Well, it's in a better condition than anything else we've seen so far, in that it's. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. There's a bathroom and a, toilet. and a toilet, which was something that wasn't. I haven't seen anything else. Fine fresh is old light switches. Nice. Well, it's got electric. And then. Oh Jesus. There's another little room there. So hopefully we can get around the back this way. Ow. Thank you. So this is the back 
the house. It's just full of reeds right now. Which will take a lot of clearing, I guess. But you can see the house. There's the bit with the broken, with the trees going through. That have clearly been there. I'd say those trees got to be 20 years old, maybe more, 30 years old. And then the other bit at the end with no roof. And then there's even the extra bit here. Separate. So that's kind of all joined. And then there's a separate one here. So here's another farm. So we were just driving around Ireland looking endless properties this is another one if i have a little pan round it's really overgrown you got some buildings there need some new roofs on and then this is the main house this is the uh kitchen area so it needs like a new roof tying into the top little out building here obviously a new ridge beam various amounts of masonry to be done that's like an animal house over there, but there is another like garage front bit to it. This must be a ginnel. Finds a lot in the old houses. The people must just pull up and use them as bloody dumping grounds. I am glad I brought my wellies. Well, we'll keep trying to battle through. I'm not even sure where we are. There's a house across the way. There's another barn or farm next door, which is good. There's a septic tank. Probably needs reconditioning. Hopefully the grant will, well the grant will help with that. I've heard that you can get up to £5,000 help with existing septic tanks. I'm like in this building here. I could have my workshop in here. So I wouldn't even have to change the route. It's obviously where the animals come in the winter. There's a bit of shrubbery to get out of the way. This will uh, do nicely. I have this all racked out however I want and I would probably just leave the roof to tell you the truth because it's only it's going to be my workshop but this place has got I like it apparently uh, she's a pain in the ass <laughs> so I've heard the seller um, she keeps changing her mind there has been offers I think we should make an offer we've already made an offer today so we're actually part of the game now but yes I think we should ring them back and just throw an offer in and she's either going to accept it or not. So she apparently just keeps changing her mind. So we've got nothing to lose. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we'll put an offer in another one this morning. We might get that. Apparently we'll find out on Monday. If I'm honest, it's absolutely bloody nerve wracking because you just don't know. When you see it advertised for the X amount, you go, oh, I'll buy that. Not the case here in Ireland. You ring it and they'll say, oh, well, we've had offers of, and then you have to put a bid in and then you don't know when that bidding is going to end it's whenever the vendor feels like it so it's nerve-wracking yeah we're living in the van we've been traveling around europe but now we've got to find somewhere to live and you're living on the seat of your pants sometimes you feel up here and then other days you're like you feel down here and you feel a bit soul destroyed but just keep doing it keep moving forward keep making decisions keep looking at stuff Otherwise you can daydream yourself into doom. So, as you can see, look at that bush. <laughs> it's like an absolute jungle. But I shall be buying lots of landscaping gear, petrol strimmers, chainsaws. I'll just, as you can see, this is the front of the house. It's like thick, dense. Can you even see in there? Jungle, it's just, I mean, it's higher than me. So this, this is property number 89 million trillion, billion, zillion, not really, I don't know, but yeah, 
cracking view. And here is the house. Apple tree. Wow. Look at the thickness of the walls. Poo pipe. Oh, that's good. I mean, there must be a septic tank or something. We'll find it. Yeah, possibly had a bit of a fire. There was obviously an entrance there or an exit. Someone else had a fire in here, but. Mm. Uh, what? Yeah. But a Joyce replacement to do. See now this is the kind of the view I was hoping for. This. Yeah but Make the offer, come on, let's make the offer. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting it off on them. What, is he not picking up? No. It's engaged. Mummy, why didn't you put the offer in? Everyone's mad because I didn't make an offer on this place. <laughs> what is that? This is the square one that I've actually, actually liked. So everyone's loving this one and the views, it's a really horrible day today, it's not, it's not raining, it's white through the lens a little bit, it's, I don't even know what date it is, 20th or 21st of July, peeing it down, hello little baby, oh. so yeah from here I've got views of the lake down there, I don't know if you can make it out, Amazing views, and yeah, spinning around quite quickly. There's an outbuilding, there's the house. I think Sam's loving it, <laughs> he's ready to put the offer straight in. I'm like, oh my god. I mean, the views alone are pretty amazing. It's definitely the place that everybody's loved. We've got new neighbours over there. And they've just bought that with a static, which is good because we all need to get a static up here. <laughs> look at you, well happy. Like literally, look at it. You're the highest bidder. You just said you have a cracking weekend. You're the highest bidder. I let him know. I can't see any problems going ahead. <laughs> 